Welcome YouTubers, this is Pocket Digital here and today I'm going to show you another uh, anime uh, products that of course uh, artists from another uh, countries or here in Hong Kong they have sell the products and of course this, the event is no other than Rainbow Gala 17 which is, which is actually held of course two days ago but because I was so tired, so exhausted, did not sleep for the straight 24 hours due to making the honey lemon uh, cosplay outfit with my sister's help so I was not able to show these uh, products uh, straight like right after the event and it's also because I watched the Zootopia uh, with the I actually watched Zootopia with my friend that also did not get to watch it that also likes Big Hero 6 so I really do like their, uh, the Zootopia they really did a fabulous job and I also did bought some few of the Sutobio stuff because during the event they don't have much there but hopefully in the future or the next upcoming Rainbow Gala or Comic World uh, event they'll have more Sutopia besides Big Hero 6 and some of the Digimons so no further than that I'm going to share is what are the products or what anime that I bought besides of the uh, Big Hero 6, uh, Digimon, Pokemon and of course Sutopia these are a few stuffs that I'm going to show first it's right here on what I'm displaying right now. So first of all, there's one of the lucky draws. There's actually you can draw this like ten dollars, like ten Hong Kong dollars per once like that. So then if you want to like do like I think ten or nine times, it's like cost one hundred or ninety Hong Kong dollars. And this is uh, based on the uh, Yokei watch and the uh, Professor Layton. And Apparently what I actually got is not the Professor Layton, it's actually the Yokei watch. So it's in this uh, mini Ziploc bag, it's not a pin, it's like a magnet pin. And this is uh, the character from the uh, Yokei watch. And it doesn't mean like, I don't like it, but I didn't really watch it, so I don't know this character that much. So I do apologize if I don't know the name, because I don't know, we don't have the Animax. On our uh, channel so I don't have any updates on the anime series I can't even give it a closer uh, zoom look so there we go this is how it looks like then moving on to the second one is we cannot forget one of the good uh, movies one of the best movies of 2016 it's no other than Deadpool of course collab with the spider-man right here and I really like this adorable keychain so I did also bought an extra pair for my friend that also uh, came with me to watch Zootopia and we really like the show it's so effing awesome sorry I cannot swear to be honest so this film is so brutal a lot of foul languages and some like sexual themes like that that's not so suitable for uh, those young, audi uh, young audience who are under 18 so if you want to watch this you have to be above 18 just to watch this so it was my very first time to watch uh, SPG or rated 18 uh, film to be honest so of course the artist really did a good work and this is from another artist called uh, Shiki right here and it's actually designed by Shiki and I really like it and this costs like uh, 35 Hong Kong dollars so it's actually quite expensive due to the detail part you can see uh, Spidey trying has actually been hooked up by Deadpool and it's really nice so for those of you who haven't watched it yet and of course for those of you who are 18 to above you gotta watch it it's so freaking and effing awesome and of course the third one is one of the very famous uh, Nickelodeon uh, cartoon series but uh, Japan also likes it, so they're, they're actually planning to make the anime series of this, uh, I mean, in, that, in the uh, anime version. And I forgot the, the title name, so don't blame me. But I do know the, the character's name, uh, which is the he's Cat Noir and she is Ladybug. And of course, they're in Paris. And it's really nice. I like the series. And they're going to have the series uh, season 2 or season 3. I kind of recall that. And this is actually free of charge. And I bumped into this a few hours before the event started. And the person from Instagram told me that they're going to make more of this uh, cartoon series or uh, anime series. And it's really nice. So for those of you who haven't watched it yet on Nickelodeon, do watch this first. Although I'm not a huge fan of Nickelodeon cartoons, but so far, besides Hey Arnold and some few uh, Nickelodeon uh, cartoon uh, cartoon series, 
This is also one of my favorite Nickelodeon cartoons or anime. It's a bit confusing, anime or cartoon, I cannot say it. So moving on to the fourth one is Peach Peach Peach. And I forgot the full sentences but I'm just saying it in short form. And you can see the, the artist's drawing. It's so kawaii in chibi version. She did a fabulous job. And her username is actually in the Pixie ID, uh, ID number. So this is the one if you want to check her artwork. She really did it nice. And this is a sticker. Um, this is actually a sticker. So you can see right here. So I'm planning to make this as my collection. And But I don't, I'm just not sure when can I put it on my collection. Which I'm not going to tell you yet. Then moving on. Before I'm going to show you this white... Uh, very glorious uh, t-shirt that my friend made and I'm going to show you that something is very rare that not much people will do this or contribute to the person that they admire or like of course this um, this this uh, item is actually based on someone on YouTube who is very 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 darn famous and none other than PewDiePie this is so freaking wow like even though it's like not really the like a good like really good artwork but this makes me go wow the moment I saw their boot showing all of PewDiePie's stuffs all their artworks that they drew including all the details like his hair his green headphones the teenage like high school uniform girl uh, outfit that he wears and of course we can't forget his signature uh, logo right here of the fist bro I could not believe it even they even have a mini uh, cafe but I forgot when it was I really regret for not getting the leaflet because I really want to know is what they will have on this uh, bro fist cafe they're going to have it here in Hong Kong but I don't know when so I really have this little guilt for not getting that mini announcement poster but look at all the detail that they made it's really awesome I do wish that I do have their name but I forgot so PewDiePie, if you, if you ever encountered this, or if you ever spotted my video about this, that I'm going to show, that, I, that I'm showing to you this one, give the credits to the person that drew this. She did a fabulous job, so go, give your bro face first. You did awesome. You. So of course the last one is none other than the t-shirt that my friend made. And for, and of course, she's from the Art, so I bet um, half of you guys do know her. And of course, she is called uh, Neyukia, Neyukina. Of course, she put a drawing a name tag right here, and it's very kawaii. And then she actually went around like uh, Europe just to go traveling, and at the same time to draw of her adventures. That's really cool. But all of it's written in Chinese. And this is actually the M size that I chose, and it costs uh, 150 Hong Kong dollars. You have any size like uh, small, medium, large, and XL. But sadly to say, there is no X, uh, no XXL or XXXL. Like I don't know why they don't have it, but this is all the sizes that she, that they actually have for now. I was hoping to give one for my friend that lives in Brazil because she really likes Australia, but they, but they don't have the size. So yeah, I kind of feel sorry that I really wanted to buy one for her. And she's one of the artists that I really like, uh, of course, from David Art. I'm not going to mention her name, but I would like to say that she likes Australia so badly. I really want to buy her one as well. And this is the, of course, M size, and it will fit me, don't worry. So here's the uh, mini clip right here on the video that you can see me wearing it. It really fits me very well. It really feels so com really, really feels so comfortable. Especially the materials is like cotton feeling. And of course the material and the way she drew herself wearing the koala. It's very kawaii and it's, it's very silky. It's like you really don't wear it but at some point you gotta wear this like during summertime. Since this is actually the perfect month to wear like this kind because it's getting quite humid and very hot in Hong Kong. Second of all, and but not at least, we cannot forget his Big Hero 6, which is right here. There we go. Only two items, but I'm really satisfied. And before I'm going to show you this, uh, the folder, they actually gave me this for free. And this is one of their artworks like that, so it's really nice. Even though I don't know this anime, but they really did great. So since I already showed this one, I'm going to show first is the folder that they created. 
and it's very darn cheap. I really, I was really expecting maybe more than 20 or 30 Hong Kong dollars, but this was actually 10 Hong Kong dollars. Very darn cheap. And look, you can see the uh, very uh, gigantic world of Big Hero 6. And then you can see the characters Baymax, Hiro, and Tadashi Yamada. Even though this scene is... You already know what happened to Tadashi, which I don't have to repeat myself for that. It was really so emotional. Like, every time I see this, I just recall what just happened. Of the poor brother that has to pass away. And I did so an, 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 actually an announcement like a few weeks or maybe a month ago that they will have a sequel like a series of Big Hero 6 or maybe Big Hero 7 that that's gonna be a villain like why like it has to be a villain just because he forget those human memories like this can't be happening I hope that that will get his memory like if they're going to make him as a villain hopefully there'll be a few part of the episode like maybe halfway or like Maybe have to almost the, the end of the series of Big Hero 6 or 7. Hopefully that he'll, get, he'll gain his memories and be a good uh, character and then make it the title as officially Big Hero 7, like including him. Like hopefully he'll be a good uh, character back like the ones we knew from two years ago. Since this Big Hero 6 has really been two years anyway. And it's so nice and uh, kawaii and sad at the same time just by looking at this simple poster. Then second of all, this one. Finally, after searching all over in Hong Kong, insane, I couldn't get my wish come true until I bumped into this uh, artist that I knew that I bought uh, this uh, mini sketch tapes like that. That maybe some of you don't know her yet. Uh, she really did a cute, uh, cute job on this one. So I'm going to open this up. So here's the a simple uh, drawing or just like a big postcard like that can be my collection and of course uh, the word of the big hero 6 or pain max in Japanese is really really uh, creative I really like this icon and then of course you can see here is the strap that you can uh, hook it up and then you can see those mini icons going happy smiling average then going to disappointment sad and then going to pass mode and then we can forget the mini uh, Plushy or uh, like he's like blushing. The blushing Baymax is so kawaii. You cannot resist. It's like they they really good. They they really make a, a good bonus right here. I really like that touching. And then of course two more uh, items. One is actually the octopus sticker, but because my octopus has a sticker ready and really lasted five years, so I have to wait for that sticker to like. To be uh, faded out or really it's not, not so good or i should get a new octopus card and stick this on it's really nice sticker it's like i don't put on my collection so i have to wait until i get a new octopus card or just display this or just leave it like this as for the meantime and then of course the card holder which i mentioned already i mentioned like maybe to myself for so long i wanted to have this one mainly for the airport because it feels so boring like always the same old thing so I wanted to try something new so hopefully I can use this and hopefully the AA or I should say the authority airport staff will not get mad at me for using something like this because you should be happy right like you should think of something happy thoughts don't make it so serious so for example instantly you can see you see Baymax you feel so happy so it's like one of my quotes at the food cart Ambassador, like, don't, like, don't worry, be happy like that. Then the third category is, of course, is none other than what I just mentioned, Zootopia. And wow, the, the, the movie is so fantastic. When I watched it with my friend, of course, uh, on Sunday, oh my gosh, the movie was so nice. The storyline, it's really good. And I just don't know how to explain the story very well, but. If the, for those of you who haven't watched it yet, but like, I don't know what to say, but it really is a nice, uh, uh, nice uh, movie. So do do uh, watch it. Then looking at these postcards, of course from the same uh, artist for these two cards, and this is for free to be honest. So besides of the the ladybug and the cat nork uh, postcard. Uh, that's actually free this is actually free again so it's like three bonus items out of all the items i get these are the three items that are actually free like no pay indeed 
And of course, the artist belongs to the name of Buta uh, 2016 or Buta uh, 106 because here it says mentioned uh, Buta 2016. Well, this one has the official website of Plurk.com Buta 109. That's what it says here. Yeah, uh, Windows a little bit blurry. I'm so sorry. Let me see if I can get the proper look. Yep, it doesn't want me to focus in, but you can see clearly. So it's called Plurk.com uh, slash Buta. All in letters, of course, capital letters, the Buta. Then 109. Try to check it out if you can or not. And they really did a good job. It's very, very cute. And they also did a mini comic of uh, Big Hero 6, which they did book 1 and book 2, but I'm not going to mention it because it's going to be a spoiler alert. And I'm not going to talk about the Zootopia because some countries haven't watched it yet, so I'm not going to spoil it. And of course, one of the artists that I knew from Art again, she did this time Zootopia, and I wasn't expecting that. Say, so I know she likes Adventure Time, but I never knew that she would make Zootopia very, very darn fast. Even though I haven't watched it, like, the moment I bought the, I bought this one, I haven't watched it, but I just buy it because I know it's going to be a good story. And it was really nice. I really like it. Hopefully they'll do a crossover of Picaro 6 and Zootopia, maybe in cosplay, that could be possible. Then the fourth category, of course, which the last one I'm going to save is the Digimon, is no other than the Pokemon. So the Pokemon right here, I bought another a card holder, which I don't know why, maybe because I like the cuteness and I like its EV evolutions. And speaking of ev yung, this uh, EV evolutions, they do have the lucky drawers already, but due to not much, like I'm trying to save my money and I don't want to spend a lot, so I have to spend like really wisely. So I just go for this one and I really have too much keychains. So I'm trying my best not to buy too much keychains at the same time. But if I want to buy keychains, I'm going to buy it for the sake of my sister. So you can really see the cute, uh, of course, the card holder. You could post, like, you could put it on your octopus card or your stuff, uh, ID card, so forth like that. It's really nice, especially you see all the EV evolutions, including, of course, you gotta forget Sylveon. But still, Kupara is still my most favorite out of the all EV evolutions. And then, one of the very few items that I don't really buy. It's actually a CD. Normally they, they actually sell CDs with the music tracks like that, but this is my very first time to buy it. And this one actually has like 7 musics. When I try to hear like for these uh, samples, they have a 3 minute sample for this particular, uh, uh, this anime of the Pokemon. This is actually a remake, like a, I should say a remix of the, they get one of the uh, hard gold, uh, silver of the video games, the 3DS games. Or yeah, just the NDS games. It's really it's not bad, I, and I actually bought it. It's really nice uh, uh, soundtrack, but I'm not going to post those uh, music on the video of this ones because they might be copyrighted because it belongs to the artist called uh, Suwaki. I'm afraid that I can't do it, or probably, oh, there it is. So this is the produced by uh, Suwaki, mastered by TQ, illustrated by the PKTC, and then it's full Japanese, oh darn it. And then of course the manufactured is by uh, Z20 Sound. And this is all the names, the titles, and of course who made the the music and so forth. So if you want to check this uh, out, you can try going to this um, the name of uh, Z20 right here, Safari uh, Poke Pokemon Remix uh, EP. But if you did, but if they don't have the music whatsoever, you can try to like secretly. Um, just message me if you want to hear all the seven soundtracks. If you want, if you want so. Then of course, Pokemon again, which is the creator of the one making those uh, tarot cards, which is, looks like the one of the series. Which I don't want to mention it. It's one of the videos that I did like way back then because I really do like their artworks. And this is a very cute kawaii sticker. It's really it really sells this like way longer already, but. I really wanted to save up, but since I kind of ignore this cuteness, especially I really like Fennekin. For the first time to like, I like use a uh, uh, fire starter on the uh, course of the game. So, the moment I saw this, like, I was like, okay, just get it. And besides, there's actually a shiny uh, Ninetales. Really nice and very cute. And the artist is 
I really forget the name, but uh, it's from the tarot cards uh, video that she's there, the ones who also created this uh, sticker. And they have a lot of items there, but I'm trying to save up, like I just mentioned in my video. And finally, but not least, is Digimon, which you already know me for loving Digimon a lot. So I already bought like I bought like five each of these ones like that. And of course, yeah, of course, they're not free. Just to let you, just a little reminder. So I'm going to show the small um, items first. So this is the ones is really interesting. It's like all pixels. Like from the back, you can see it's actually Plotmon or Salomon, which is of course Telmon's uh, rookie farm, and it's very very cute. Supposedly this is actually 25, but because my friend cosplay as a uh, go go, uh, the person or the seller uh, want says that the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. So instead of like 25, we pay 20 dollars because the other one just because my friend bagged it like if we buy two, will you discount a little bit? So she discounted like 20 each. So she got Patamon while I got a Plotmon because she knows that I'm more into the Hikari and Telmon uh, series like that. I'm I'm more. I really do like the, the the team of those of those two. So they really did a good job on making a uh, plot mod, to be honest, and it's really fantastic. Even my sister was stunned to see that they can do this. They did a lot of Digimons and some of the anime series that I don't know much. And then moving on is those uh the artist called uh, Winnie that did a good post uh, did the fabulous and glorious uh, postcards, which maybe you might know them from a lot on Facebook and these are the two keychains that I got is from the Digimon Tamers of Rika and Digimon Frontiers of, I of uh, Izumi so it's really it's nice I really wanted to get the other characters but because I really want to save up so badly and I'm gonna mention why I really want to save up my money so this video is cute so I'm gonna put this aside and then these two books they're not from those people who are they drew in Hong Kong because surprisingly my very first time this was actually made in Japan and they brought it here all the way from Japan and look at it and I can't believe it like they actually call this very expensive but I can't blame them because this is, is from Japan and this is from the artist work right here if I get it right because I'm still trying my best to learn Japan I mean Japanese sorry so I'm going to remove the plastic inside. So it's really it's a nice book. It's like you get the feeling that this is the feeling of being in Japan. So I'm not sure about the story plot, but this is the the title. So I'm going to randomly guess like that. So I'm not going to show each and every one of the the the, the scenes like that. But they reminded me that this is actually a little bit of oh crap. I think it's a little bit of a rated uh, 18, so I'm going to skip a lot and I don't know a lot of these seeds yet. Oh dear, this is so awkward to see the yellow parts, like, okay, alright, this is no problem, so I'm gonna, I can show you this one, but wow, this is really it's nice and there is actually a mini signature, and it is nice, even though I did not expect it's actually rated as PG, I did not pay attention, so it's my fault. And then of course the last book maybe is also another rated SPG and the book textures and feels, uh, feels a little bit different from the other one that one's more smooth and this one's like more of a like hard kind of case like that and you can see this is actually the Digimon part 2 there is 02 you can see the four new characters of uh, Iori, Daisuke, um, Kenichi Joji and Miyako and then the other uh, eight is really big, really grew, uh, grew up. And this is the name uh, around the world in 337 seconds. And you can see Imperial Drummond flying all the way like that from the left corner. It's very cute. And now on top. And look at the shiny part right here. Oh my gosh, that really is cool. Then what's inside? I don't know. I hope it's not Yao. I hope it's not Yao. Is it Yao? There's no Yao? Okay. Alright, simply no Yao then. Yep, good. There is no Yao. I'm glad there is no Yao. So, I do not know the story plot. I don't spoil myself. 
and this was made like wow that's very darn long it was made in 2002 august 9th and oh my gosh this is very darn long so let me try to check on the credits at the back even in the back of this one let's see oh my gosh this was made in 2000 so which means they have sold this very darn long i really did not know so i can't wait to read this even though my japanese sucks so i'm going to read this step by step so in conclusion before i actually end this video well these are uh, all of these products are very nice although i wasn't expecting the uh digital manga of this very first one to be like a little bit of a rated uh, spg i didn't see it but don't worry i didn't see all of it yet and i'm not going to show it to you all because it's not a proper way to show it all on youtube so before we end this video uh, i actually did mention why i really want to say about well i did talk to my mother a few days ago that i should say uh last month that i really want to save up mainly is to uh, go to japan and the main reason why i wanted to go to japan is not because i'm really uh it's not because it's like besides of being added to anime stuff so i can see all over my room so messy this and that you see a lot of my videos i have uh we previewed a lot of them and I mostly like uh, ordered them from Japan with my friend's help or just tried to find them searching from you from Yahoo Auction Hong Kong or someone from Instagram or one of my friends are selling them and I find like like it's not really filled of the Japan like if you want to like buy this through Japan like really it's like your feeling is you want to go to Japan like to feel these items are really belong to Japan like you really want to go there for real it's like not just some fantasy world like you want to go there as your dream come true and I do plan to, to go to Japan like really way way long time like ever since I was like high school if I if I can recall that I keep saying that but it was so hard for me to earn because high school you really spend your money easily so it's hard for you to save up but now I'm really having a job since like I've really been working like I think almost two years already so this is my opportunity to save up and not to overspend too much so starting this month i'm not going to uh, buy a lot of anime stuff even though those latest or good uh, anime stuff you see nowadays are good uh, lots of uh, updates such as like the card capture sakura one set i'm not going to mention or uh, upload on the video they have that it's really nice i really like to buy it but i don't want to because i really want to save up and if it's a good time to buy that or not and because my room is so small i'm not going to buy very ignore ginormous uh, stuff unless if my friend buys me a souvenir from japan and they give to me if it's big then i can't blame them and i want to sell it, of course because those items they belong to me and one of my friends actually went to japan recent i mean just like two days ago after the event and she's going to actually buy me a souvenir i'm not sure what's that i told her don't tell me it's gonna be a spoiled a spoiler alert so she's going to really buy me a souvenir even though i was not expecting to have a souvenir but she wanted to and she said that try to save up your money it's gonna be really uh worth it at the end if you save up money if you want to really travel that that specific uh, country that you've been aiming for start saving up right now and you will not regret it until the very end so i hope you all guys understand that if those uh, some anime stuff that's been very like just updated already or has those fully released it even though there's my favorite uh, Digimon items or uh, for example maybe uh, uh, Madoka for example like that I wanna buy them or try to pre-order them as much as I really want to get them but I'm really trying my best to save up my salary to step by step and making and also uh, also making sure that my mother will not or try to get my money as much as I, as possible so hope you respect that and i'll try my best to preview uh some of the animes that i will uh that i will buy but only the needs ones only the need but not the ones but needs so this is the end of my uh, video and i hope you enjoyed it if you do enjoy it please uh, click the like and subscribe to my channels for more uh, anime uh, previews so i had to sign out right now i had to sign out already so see you all in the next preview.